I don't. I just don't think there's a whole ton separating either Edmonton from Vegas one way or the other. Same thing with the LA Kings. Same thing with you know anyone else that they'd potentially match up with in the first round. It's it's sort of a coin flip, a toss up either way. I think. Yeah, the Western Conference playoffs kind of throughout are going to be really, really tight. I even look in the Central, like how much is there separating the red hot Minnesota Wild from the Dallas Stars in a round one series or anything like that. So I think we're going to be in for a real treat come playoff time because, I mean, Winnipeg, K, okay, whatever happens in that eighth spot, sure. But the six teams that hold those divisional spots, they all seem like really, really evenly matched. Yeah, they're that's those six teams are the big boys in the West. I mean, they're all sort of... Yep. equally capable of taking down each other it's wide open and when i say that i truly believe it i think the one team that has set themselves apart i think in the last four weeks the last month has been the colorado avalanche they're 16 four and one in their last 21 two six game winning streaks um they're also at some point um going to get gabriel landiscog back in the playoffs and so when you've had the team on a hot streak as they've been and they're going to add a critical piece back like i think to me they're the team to beat in the west and i think if i were to you know create a pecking order of of teams that i believe have the best opportunity to advance to the stanley cup final in the west i'm going colorado one edmonton two um i'd probably go minnesota three dallas four or you can flip-flop those teams, Dallas 3, Minnesota 4, LA 5, Vegas 6.